Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to turn one of these into one of these. Okay, so as you can see I've speeded the video up and the first thing I'm going to be doing is painting in the background. I'm using five colours for this painting which are titanium and white, uh, cadmium yellow, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue and burnt umber. So the background was just burnt umber, cadmium yellow, maybe some alizarin crimson. If you want to cool the brown you add blue into it, um, warm the brown or add some red into it, red and yellow into it. So now I'm just using mostly probably alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue and um, burnt umber just for the colour of the, uh, the wine. And the reason I'm using those three colours is obviously you've got the red from the alizarin crimson and to darken that red if you want to make a black colour out of the five colours, if you, you mix brown and blue and that makes black. So obviously I'm making a black and then I'm adding the red into it to create more of that wine colour. As you see there as well, I've just changed the angle of the camera because the camera is a bit lower and the light bouncing, the studio lights bouncing off the dark colour of the wine bouncing back onto the camera lens and you couldn't really see the colour very very well. One thing that people worry about painting glass is obviously because it's transparent so they think how can you make it look like it's real glass but you kind of put those things to the back of your mind and you just concentrate on taking each part of the glass and painting in those reflections, the highlights and the colour from the, uh, the background from behind the glass will probably be a bit cooler coming through it and also distorted slightly, especially if there are objects behind it. Um, the rays of light coming through obviously a bit distorted but as long as you paint in those reflections highlights and the changes in color then you don't even need to think about it being a glass because when you step back and, and look at your painting you, you can see it's glass so you kind of want to simplify things for yourself not to worry too much and not to overcomplicate. Um, and your final result will be, you know, looking like a glass of wine. So this, this first, I'm painting in two layers. So the, this first layer, I use liquid as a paint medium because I wanted it to dry quick. So I could um, come back the next day and rework it. Um, so you could say the first day was the first painting and the second day, which I'm on now, is the second painting and I started off again with the background. I, I'm a bit more careful in the second painting stage and you can see the reflection of the, um, show the, sorry, the, uh, the shadow from the glass. I made it lighter because I made it too dark in the first painting. So the, the second painting you are making corrections as you're going along as well but you don't want to make it too many so hopefully you would have got a lot of it right in the first painting and you would have got your proportions right um, really so you, the first painting is a setup for the second painting and I've started this one really by going into those highlights in the top part of the glass trying to get those looking real because they're picking up 
Um, the, the lights from the studio, uh, lights coming from a window, uh, reflections of objects from around the studio. So there's all sorts going on in, in, in that glass. And if you paint those in, if there's a lot of reflections, you don't need to paint them all in, but if you paint some of them in, that's when it will give the impression that it's real glass. And onto the stem now, so I'm just painting those long streaks of light in, slightly darker than the background colour that would be coming through it. And down by the, onto the foot of the glass. Um, that bottom base of the glass is, can be quite tricky really, because it's kind of going away from the viewer so it's easy to get your shapes wrong. And also it's just quite light because the, uh, the studio lights were bouncing down on it when the um, picture was taken as for the reference. So yeah, I kind of worked a lot of the glass area, so it just needs to tidy up a little bit, but um, before I do that I'm just making, putting a bit more paint on the actual wine colour and tidying that up, making that look um, more realistic. And as the glass curves around underneath, there are, uh, you know, very subtle reflections bouncing up from the surface, the wooden surface, so you know it's, it's good to paint all of those in to create that realism. And then the top of the wine, of course, again it's got that light coming down onto it so it's very light, uh, a light red. A very light purpley kind of red. Now I'm just kind of tidying up around the outside of, of the glass, um, softening the edges where I need to, making sure the glass is the right shape. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Painting things like glasses of wine are really popular in still life paintings, that's why I've done this demonstration. And there are lots of demonstrations on my Patreon channel if you're interested in learning to paint. Um, I've done demonstrations of painting an orange, this mannequin, this silver goblet, um, even you know if you're aspiring to paint pets. I've even done a painting of my little dog Bella showing you the process from the underpainting to the second and final painting. And um, so all the um, contact information for my Patreon channel, the details are in the description below, which you can follow. And uh, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.